Hey guys, Dr. LaMarche here. Today we're going to discuss the four R's of gut healing. So before we get into discussing the gut, please do me a favor, subscribe and ring the bell so you can get more videos about this kind of stuff and you can share it with your friends and family and really promote our message of health. Now the research that's coming out about the gut is absolutely staggering. It's showing that the gut is responsible for about 70% of your immune system. It's showing how it influences all systems in your body, including your brain. So it is really important to maintain the health of your gut. Now there are certain things that will impact the health of your gut very negatively. Probably the worst out there is antibiotics. I understand sometimes we have a really bad infection and we need it. However, it completely disrupts the natural flora of your gut. And when you don't have good probiotics in your gut, you're a lot more likely to get sick. That's why once people start getting one infection and take antibiotics, they're a lot more likely to get another infection than another because they have nothing in their gut to really protect them. Remember, 70% of immune function is found in your gut. So if you kill that, it's really difficult to try to stay healthy. Some of the other things, alcohol, very, very bad for the health of your gut. Too much caffeine, inflammatory foods, anything that's processed is gonna cause inflammation of your gut and nothing in your body works properly when it's inflamed. So imagine this is the lining of the gut. You have folds in your gut and when the gut becomes, becomes inflamed, the folds start to open up. And when that happens, it's called leaky gut syndrome, things start to leach through the lining of the gut and they end up in your system. And when they go through your blood system, they go everywhere in your body, including your brain. And when you have inflammatory proteins in your body, especially something like gluten, your body will attack it. And when it attacks something, you have an inflammatory response. And if it's chronic, you start getting things like joint pain, headaches, migraines, IBS, Crohn's disease, type one diabetes is on the list for something like this. Anxiety, believe it or not, depression can be caused from your gut. So it's really important, obviously, that you take extremely good care of your gut, everything in your body, but do not neglect the health of your gut. It is one of the most important systems of your body that will have an effect on everything. Now there are four things when it comes to the healing of the gut. We wanna remove certain things, we wanna replace certain things, we want to re-inoculate the gut, and then we want to repair the gut. So when it comes to removing, what do you wanna remove? Well, some of the stuff we just talked about. Too much alcohol, too much sugar, too much processed foods, too much caffeine, all that stuff will cause inflammation. So get that out of your diet. The next thing is replacing certain things. When you talk about replacing certain foods, what do you want? You want an anti-inflammatory diet. Things that will bring inflammation down in your system not up. Now when it comes to replacing certain foods, you want to just replace them with anti-inflammatory foods. Now when I say anti-inflammatory foods, I'm just talking real food. Real food is anti-inflammatory on its own. So good quality, organic, clean, pasture-raised, grass-fed, wild-caught meats, all right? Uh, don't buy the conventionally raised stuff. All that stuff is toxic. Now organic fruits, organic vegetables, preferably raw nuts and seeds, all that stuff is great and you will see a decrease in inflammation in your gut and because of that, a lot of your symptoms should go away. When it comes to re-inoculating the gut, you wanna take probiotics that are from a vegetarian source. So the probiotics in your gut, the ones that are endemic to your gut, are from dirt, essentially. It's not from dairy, it's not from yogurt. So yogurt is not a good source of probiotics. Fermented foods are good, so you can do sauerkraut, you can do uh, kimchi, you can do tempeh. That stuff is awesome for getting probiotics. Even kombucha is good. Uh, a lot of caffeine in kombucha though, so be careful, but it's still a good food. And then, like I said, vegetarian source probiotics. Be very, very careful with that. And the last R would be repair. Everything that you're doing, these first three R's will help repair, but a couple other things, L-glutamine, zinc, and curcumin, awesome for just helping restore a lot of that stuff, repairing the gut. All that stuff is just an extra layer to help your gut heal a little bit more. So I hope you learned something from this video. Please do me a favor, subscribe and ring the bell so you can get notifications about all the videos that we have promoting health. Share it with your friends and family because we know there's a lot of people out there that need this information. Thanks again for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Thank mm -hmm. you.